The sail plans of these boats are also very innovative. Uh, we started off with a very uh, high aspect rig, so a, a much taller uh, sail uh, plan than what we have done in the, in the past. Uh, that allowed us to carry a, a smaller headsail, so narrower but longer sails, which are always more efficient. The standard uh, head sail for the boat is a 106% uh, uh, Genoa, so that allows us to have the overlap that generates a great deal of power in the sail plan, but without having all of the, uh, all of the, the hassle of managing a 135% or 140% Genoa. So it's, it's really a very easy boat to tack. As you uh, tack through the wind, you just let out a very small amount of line on one side, you bring in a very small amount of line on the other side, and so it, it really makes uh, managing the sails with a crew or uh, without a crew or with just a family uh, very, very easy. The advantage of the 106 also is that because we put the tracks up on the, on the coach roof, that we have uh, completely open side decks. You can see on the side deck, no, uh, no deck hardware at all, no, no place to stub one's toe, a very easy circulation. Uh, and because the tracks here are up on the side deck, we have a better tacking angle and uh, better VMG uh, when, uh, when sailing boats uh, of this style. Uh, so the boat is uh, really optimized for this 106% uh, uh, Genoa. We have two different options uh, in addition to that. We have the ability to have a 140% Genoa in areas where we have lighter wind or we have a demand for having a, a larger uh, head sails. And the 140% uh, Genoa is put on a separate track that is done along the side deck. We retain the tracks that are on the coach roof. And then we have a third option, which is new for us with this generation of boats, which is the self-tacking uh, jib. The self-tacking jib uh, is something that we mount in front of the mast, again on, a, on, an, extra, on an extra track. And that uh, self-tacking jib is made possible because we have this high aspect uh, ratio rig. So we have a very tall rig, which allows us to have uh, uh, all of the... Um, uh, the sail area necessary to use the self-tacking jib. We see more and more of a trend towards this type of sail. It's obviously very popular in northern Europe and in Scandinavia, but also in other areas of the world where people really want to have uh, hassle-free uh, sail management, uh, and we wanted to be able to, uh, to make that possible with this uh, boat. So we've had, uh, 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 we have a system of track that can be installed even, even after delivery of the boat, uh, if, uh, if necessary. The engine access uh, to, for, on the Sun Odyssey 409 is very, very simple. You lift up the, uh, the companionway hatch by a, uh, a set of uh, gas shocks. And here you have uh, very easy access to the, uh, the new generation uh, Yanmar 40 horsepower engine with very easy access, uh, obviously, from this front panel. The two side panels, the back end lifts off. You have access to the water pump uh, impeller here. And from the back, we have uh, access to uh, the raw water filters, as well as the cooling liquid bottle uh, and all of the other fittings uh, through the uh, various access panels. So very easy to maintain uh, and easy to, uh, to access. The Sun Odyssey 409 and Sun Odyssey 439 uh, both integrated our new technology involving uh, sail drives. The sail drive uh, leg itself that we see here coming out of the boat is uh, uh, designed uh, by uh, Yanmar, so it is fitted with the, uh, with the Yanmar engine. Uh, this sail drive, as you can see, has the advantage of being very, uh, very heavily uh, profiled. So in terms of the, of the drag of this type of system, there's considerably less drag than what we have with, uh, with a shaft system and a skeg. Uh, you have uh, a variety of advantages, uh, including the water intake that is here. So the, the, we eliminate a through hole in the boat. The, the water intake, the raw water intake for the engine is done directly through the uh, sail drive leg. Uh, we have the ability, of course, to have uh, folding propellers on the system. We also chose with the Yanmar to have a sail drive that, where the service for the sail drive can be done from the interior of the boat. It's a key point because uh, with many of the Volvo sail drives and some of the other sail drives available on the market today, in order to do... Uh, a, uh, uh, any type of oil change or fluid change, you have to haul the boat out of the water. It's not the case with this, uh, this type of sail drive where the, uh, the oil change can be done from inside of the boat. Between uh, the uh, interior and exterior of the boat, where we come through the, through the hull, there's a double seal. Uh, that double seal uh, has an alarm between the two seals, so if there was to be any, any uh, breaching of the first seal, you would be, uh, you would be alerted to that uh, problem. But it is uh, something that uh, we've been mounting now for uh, over 10 years, uh, sail drive technology, and uh, there's uh, almost no problems with this type, of, uh, this type of installation. And the double seal with the alarm is uh, really the best available on the market.